So yeah, well, the, the Farming Forum um, started six years ago now. Um, purely, it's, a, it's an accidental thing really. It came at a time when I was making major changes to the, the way that we farm in our farming business. We've been pursuing the conservation agriculture direct drilling zero till type route for a while. And um, increasingly, the best source of knowledge, uh, of learning, was to learn from other people's mistakes for me. I came on board to help effectively, just part time to start with, but it grew and it grew massively. It's about 350,000 words a day are added, which is about seven magazines worth every day. It's a vocational job farming. People go home at night and they still want to talk about farming. So really, actually, it's not necessarily as big a surprise as you imagine to see why it's been quite so popular amongst farmers. It gives them um, that ability to, to, to share you know, common issues or learn from each other. That whole knowledge transfer, I think, going forward is going to be a very powerful thing in agriculture. I was um, running a orga small organic farm down in Cornwall. But as being in Cornwall, uh, you tend to diversify as much as possible. So uh, everything was holiday homes, uh, camping. We were doing yurts, classic, got up and doing the glamping element, which was great and was a small, profitable farm, effectively, but very uh, seasonal. Okay, so we grow all combinable crops. Um, so milling wheat, uh, which goes, a lot of it goes to Domino's and McDonald's, uh, it's a high quality kind of high protein wheat, quite a diverse uh, range of crops really, uh, and it's part of our farming system to have that maximum diversity, uh, more crops is kind of healthier for the soil. Great crop is, you can't, if you continually brew wheat all the time, what you do is you build uh, up kind of pests and disease issues within the soil. You have to have a rot you have to farm with a rotation. So you'll have a cereal type crop, a grassy crop like wheat or barley, and then you'll have a break crop, which will be something legumous like peas or beans or uh, brassica like oilseed rape. Um, and then you kind of, you, know, so you have that right, this old farming principles which have never really changed of having to have that break to break those pest and disease cycles and then you grow better crops of your of your main crops so you can't just be a you can't just be a wheat farm you can't just be a oilseed rape farm or a bean farm you have to have this kind of this rotation it also spreads workloads so the harvest time for oilseed rape will be different to the harvest date for um, winter wheat and that kind of uh, or beans so it spreads your labor and your machinery out throughout the year this again is another issue for kind of where our culture's evolved to over the last few years because Everyone's you're trying to, when the economics have become quite tough, you try to maximise the highest gross margin crops, which is the wheat. So some of the good old fashioned farming principles of proper rotation start to go be, be ignored a little bit. In, in pursuit of you know, that higher margin that they need. Um, you know, the the rotation is important because that stops things, problems that become big issues for farmers like blackgrass, um, slugs, um, you know, aphids, all these things that they see as big problems. Actually, they're quite often just a symptom of um, poor rotation. Um, yeah, so obviously we're using a lot of technology here to kind of make this system work. Um, because we're not cultivating, the impact on a weight of machinery on, on land can be an issue wheel or any weight only hits the land once every 12 meters. You need good IT skills now. The, the equipment we're using, the, the, the cabs are full of screens. You need to kind of know your way around the computer to, to, to be able to get the best out of these machines. I think we've had at least one wedding, actually, which is kind of, yeah, so you don't really expect that when you started it back, back then. So we've had at least one. That we, we, did know start, we had a dating yeah. section start yeah. up mm -hmm. um, after a famous farm, farm uh, famously put an advert up for a, uh, a wife, but written as like a machinery classified advert. <laughs> like, you know, low hours, <laughs> needs little maintenance, those sort of things. And that went around and we had lots of, lots of sign-ups and that yeah. led into a dating section that's, that's very popular. Actually, within agriculture, a lot of farmers were paying very different prices for the same products. Um, so we, by giving people the ability to compare, um, it's helped them drive better deals with their suppliers. They've been able to go back to their suppliers and say, well, actually, I, I, I've seen here that there's people paying you know, X amount less than I am. Why am I paying this? Why aren't I getting that same deal? That led to um, a little spring off of the forum was a thing called um, Farm Marketplace. So what we tried to do there with that is almost create like a... Um, an Amazon style service that put 
put the uh, suppliers of agricultural products directly in touch with those, their buyers um, and with open online transparent pricing when, and basically people can use the forum for them to equip themselves with more information which gives them the power to kind of um, maybe change their business because they've seen how other people have successfully made various changes to the way that they rear their livestock or grow their crops or maybe it's a change in the way that they've been buying or taking advice or um, a mechanisation change um, but you know, it, it, those decisions come from a position of knowledge in the first place. So, you, you know, the forum is the source of that knowledge.